Well, you know, what we know about in New Mexico is that we have so many who are descendant of the Sephardi who fled the Inquisition. And we know this because we've always known it, right? New Mexicans have always known it uh, and continue to practice or continue to integrate traditions into our existing traditions. And that's actually, I think, the beauty of New Mexico is we are not just tolerant of other religions, we actually integrate religions. It's a unique place, right? It's one of the few places where you find the Star of David in the Catholic Cathedral where Native Americans go to their church before they practice their sacred dances on the plaza and where you could be raised Catholic with Jewish traditions. So I am very lucky in that I actually had my genealogy done and discovered that I am a descendant of the Carvajals, a family that came, you know, escaped the Inquisition. Not everybody managed to escape it. Um, you know, one of the Carvajals was actually burnt at the stake in Mexico City, but the sister Carvajal that I am descended from, you know, they made it to New Mexico, and we know that many fled to New Mexico precisely because it was so far away, right? And they were able to continue to practice here, continue to, you know, live probably never without the fear, but continue to live, right? And pass down traditions that we still practice today. You know, uh, Senator Lujan mentioned some of the traditions that they had in his family. You know, my mother always mentioned that, you know, Instead of sitting Shiva for seven days, they only sat it for four, you know? So they would like make, they, they, they'd integrate it, right? They didn't, they didn't necessarily always maybe practice, because I was raised Catholic, my mother was a devout Catholic, but she also loved the fact that this was part of the heritage. She did not deny it, she embraced it. And I think that's a special thing about New Mexico is that we do embrace. I am working now, um, to make sure that Spain lives up to its obligation when Spain issued an apology and a reparation to those who it had expelled and said, you can come home, the right of return. Uh, we found out about three, six months ago, Spain started denying everybody. And so I have been part of an effort to call Spain out on that because we must call out anti-Semitic behavior wherever it is. And you cannot apologize for something as horrible as the Inquisition and then change your mind about it. So I have proudly uh, raised that issue with Spain, I've raised that issue with the White House, with the State Department, and I'm proud to carry that banner on behalf of the many Sephardi from New Mexico and across the Americas who have applied to Spain uh, for, under the right of return. Because across this country and across this world, we need to atone for what we did wrong and move forward. And this was such a beautiful way of doing it, right? Of saying, I'm sorry, this is one way we can express our apology, but then to take it away makes it even worse. And so, you know, I, I, Sarah and, you know, the, the Federation, the American uh, Sephardi Federation, they've been wonderful in their support on this. Yeah, they really have. Jason Gruberman, it's just marvelous, yes. So I went, in fact, I went to New York City to participate in a, a, a protest in front of the Spanish. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it, you know, and it's right. It's right to do that and call it out wherever we see it, right? So, and, 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 you know, we've done, this country has done things in terms of slavery. You know, the Spanish who came in here have done things. Right? We, we need to get to a place where we can acknowledge both the good and the bad in our history and resolve it and keep moving forward, but aware of it. And that's part of what the Sp Spanish king said they were going to do. And then they just need to get nudged back into doing the right thing. So.